Hey everyone, this year at Adobe Max 2024, we got to see some amazing new features for Adobe Illustrator. From advanced AI capabilities to even faster performance. And the best part, you can start using these amazing tools right now. First up, we have the Generative Shape Fill. This feature is powered by Adobe's AI technology, Firefly and it lets you fill in shapes with cool vector designs just by typing in a few words. Using it is super easy. Here, we'll be using Adobe's pre-made example of a bird outline. Make sure you've selected everything and then we'll be using the contextual taskbar to type in whatever prompt you want to use. And then just watch as Illustrator generates and fills in the image for you. Awesome. Also, if you check out the properties panel, you can see the extra variations of your image. We've also got some extra things that we can use to help us control the outcome of our generated image, such as shape strength. Using this will allow us to choose how closely we want to match the original outline. Style reference can also be used if we want our generative fill to match the art style of another image. Next, we have objects on path. If you've ever struggled to align objects neatly along a curve or custom path, don't worry, because this feature makes it super easy. Now you can attach, move and arrange objects precisely along any path with ease. Let's check it out. Here we have a simple illustration and I want to place these icons on this path. To do this, all I have to do is simply select all the icons and use the objects on path tool, which is new on the toolbar, to automatically place them on the curve. From there, you can use the widgets to control the distribution, orientation, and position along the path, making adjusting your objects so much easier than it used to be. Next, we have the mock-up tool. If you're into product design or branding, you'll love the new mock-up tool. This tool lets you create realistic prototypes by placing your vector art directly onto objects like t-shirts, mugs, or packaging. We can use this by going to window and then mock-up to bring up the mock-up panel. And then next, all we have to do is select our logo along with your mock-up image and then click create mock-up to automatically apply and adjust your design to the image. Once you've done that, you can even move your design around and Illustrator will automatically adjust the curves to match the background of the object. This video is brought to you by Envato, unlimited creative assets and the broadest range of categories all in one place. Follow the link in the description and start creating now. Next on the list is the Enhanced Image Trace. If you've ever used Image Trace to convert raster images into vectors, you'll know how useful this is. And now Adobe has made it even better. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of new stuff that we can play around with inside the new Image Trace panel. With the new Enhanced Image Trace, Illustrator can produce great results. Choosing a high fidelity option, you can see that the result turned out great with very little errors. Previously, using Image Trace on gradients like this would be an absolute pain to work with because of all the banding that it creates. But now, all we have to do is check the gradient option and the gradients are created for you, ready to adjust and to play about with. Now let's talk about something really exciting, Project Neo. This is Adobe's brand new web app, still in beta, that allows you to create and edit 3D designs with ease. You can adjust color, shape, lighting, and perspective, and then bring your 3D artwork directly into Illustrator for your regular design workflows. With Project Neo, you can create multiple illustrations of a single 3D object easily simply by rotating it around, changing its colors and materials, and if you want, adjusting the lighting as it's just a few clicks away. And even different art styles, such as vector art style, a realistic art style, and even pixel art style. It's a great tool for anyone wanting to add a 3D element to their projects without needing to use a separate 3D program. And there you have it, the top five new features in Adobe Illustrator from Adobe Max 2024. Compared to last year, I'd say these updates maybe aren't as groundbreaking, but the performance boost is nice and the improvements to the tools they've made are definitely solid. For me though, the real standout has to be Project Neo. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and drop a comment with your favorite new feature. 
And if you haven't already, subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop with all the latest and most inspiring videos from Envato Tuts Plus.